Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm gonna talk about all the differences between the Subaru Outback trim levels. I made a previous video covering the details on the Forester trim level, so I figured why not do it on the Outback as well. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy Subaru related content, then please be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Also, if you guys find value in today's video, please be sure to click the like button. That really helps me out and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of the video. This video is actually requested by a recent subscriber who asked me to go over the trim levels and then also share my feedback on which trim level was my favorite. So I'm gonna be sharing that at the end of this video. These two Outbacks right here are 2022 models. A lot of what I'm gonna be talking about today is relevant for the 2020 and 2021 as well, but I did wanna specify these are actually 2022 Outbacks. So starting out, I'm gonna tell you about all of the standard features that come on the Subaru Outback, and then we're gonna move on up in trim levels and tell you about all the add-ons and the different options that you can get as you move up. All new Subaru Outbacks come standard with the symmetrical all-wheel drive system. You also have alloy wheels on all of the Outbacks. LED headlights and daytime running lights are a standard on all new Outbacks. It does look like the light is flickering around the outside of the bezel, but it is a solid LED beam. It just does that because the shutter rate on my iPhone does not capture that properly. So it is a solid light. It's not flickering like it looks in this video. They all come standard with this 2.5 liter naturally aspirated boxer four cylinder engine, but you do have the option to upgrade on the Onyx and the XT models to this 2.4 liter turbo engine, which I'll talk about a little bit more in detail on this trim level in just a moment. But this has 260 horsepower. All of your new Subarus with the CVT transmission are going to have EyeSight as a standard. So the Outback gets this as a standard as well. The EyeSight are these two cameras up front in the windshield that actually control a lot of the safety features on the Subarus. So some of the main safety features that this controls is the adaptive cruise control, the automatic braking, and the pre-collision throttle response. So EyeSight also has a lane centering function. So those cameras will look for lines on either side of the road as you're driving down the highway. And once it detects that, it can actually use the power steering to keep you centered in your lane. This next feature is one of my all-time favorites on Subarus. And specifically with the Outback, you get it as a standard on all even the base model and that's these quick release levers right here which will drop your second row quickly from the rear there are also buttons up here that you can use to drop the seats when you are up by the second row but this is just great whenever you're loading things in and it's super convenient i'm excited to get in the car now because it's like 55 or 60 degrees today so my hands are freezing all new outbacks get the power windows the power locks and power mirrors they all come standard with a backup camera. The base model does not have this large 11.6 inch display. It'll actually have two smaller displays. I'll show you what that looks like on the screen, but it will still have the backup camera just like this one. They all come standard with Bluetooth, but you also have the option to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto just by connecting your phone up to the USB ports down below here. And that's a great option for people who wanna still utilize navigation, but maybe their car doesn't. So with your, your base model, you won't have navigation as an option, but you can still utilize navigation and mirror it up on the display, even though it's the smaller display, you can still mirror it on there with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All new Outbacks specifically come standard, even the base model with this electronic parking brake, which can be engaged just by pulling up like I did there. It'll light up red and tell you up there on the dash that it's engaged and to disengage it, you just put your foot on the brake and you push down and that will release. So this is great because it removes the large lever that used to be here in the way. The Outback is great for traveling because the comfortability in the second row. So this second row, actually reclines so all trim levels in the outback recline in the second row this is right now in the all the way reclined position that one over there is not reclined right now but it does recline as well and so that's great because you're not in the up position the entire time if you're riding along as a passenger maybe you want to get some rest you can recline get you a pillow and get some rest while somebody else is driving and this is what it looks like when you just release it and it comes all the way up Here's this quick release button I was just telling you guys about. 
you want to release the second row and fold it down from this side instead of using the quick release buttons in the back. So we've talked about what's standard on all new Subarus, including the base model. Now let's talk about some of the unique things that are on the base model before we move on to the premium trim level. So with the base model, we've already discussed it briefly, but it has the dual monitor touchscreen display, so it does not have the 11.6 inch touchscreen display. It has cloth interior, no heated seats. Speaking of seats, it has a manual six-way driver's seat, so it does not have power seats in the base model and the outside aesthetically looks a little bit different. The outside has a matte black mirror cap, so it's not painted to match the body color. And then the last thing that's important to note on the base model is that it has a regular key for the ignition. It does not have push to start. This Outback in particular is a premium trim level. It has the cloth interior with heated seats. The premium gets upgraded to the LED fog lights the base model, I forgot to mention, does not have fog lights on it, but you can get them added as an accessory. You just select the fog light kit whenever you're building it out. Instead of the matte black plastic mirror caps that you get on the base model, on the premium, you get the body color match mirror caps. The premium trim gets an upgraded 10-way power driver's seat. So you can move this seat forward, back. You can tilt this forward and back. You can adjust your lumbar support for the tightness in the seat back. You can also lift the seat, lower it, or tilt the cushion. The premium trim and actually all other trim levels in the Outback line come standard with this 11.6 inch touchscreen display. You also get the upgrade in the premium to the dual climate control. So you have temperature controls over here and for your passenger, and you can sync this up where you can control both simultaneously, or you can control them individually where only one temperature has changed and lastly for the premium trim if your passengers need charging ports for their phones their ipads or any other devices you have your charging ports right here in the back with the rear vents the premium trim comes with two optional packages so the first optional package is a package 13 and the second one is a package 15 they all come standard with the options that I've already discussed, but the package 13 gives you the blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert, keyless access with push button start. So you can get a premium with push button start, but you have to get that optional package 13. And then the 13 also gives you the hands-free power rear gate. The 15 is the exact same, but it adds two other accessories or two options, and that is the power moonroof and the navigation built into that 11 6 inch touchscreen display. However, if you guys really want navigation, as I've mentioned before, you can actually mirror your navigation through the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto. It does require you to hardwire it through your USB charger down here below, but if you're wanting a trim level that doesn't have that, then don't worry about the navigation, you can use it from your phone. Now, if you don't have a smartphone, then obviously in that case, you would have to upgrade to a trim level that has that navigation built into the infotainment display. The next trim level is the Onyx Edition. The one right here in front of me is a 2022 Onyx Edition. As you can see, it comes with an appearance package. So it has the 18 inch black alloy wheels, the color match mirror cap. It also has a blacked out front grille. But not only that, it comes standard with the XT engine. So it has that 2.4 liter turbo engine that you see in the other Outback XT models, as well as in the Ascent. Not only that, but if we pop open the power rear gate that comes standard on the Onyx Edition, we'll also see that there is a full size spare down below here that matches the wheels that are already on the car. So if you do get a flat, if you're going to the trails or whatever and you've got a flat you can replace that with a full-size spare that'll look just like what is already on the car for those of you who don't know you also get this nifty little hook that will hold the rear floor up while you're getting into the rear cargo area so you don't have to worry about this falling on you whenever you need to get that heavy wheel or tools out of here the onyx is unique in that it has a different type of upholstery. So this is not cloth, it is not leather. Although it looks and feels like leather, this is actually a vegan material. It is called StarTex. So it's water repellent, great on days like this where you may be kicking water inside the vehicle. And it is made with recycled materials. And it has this green stitching all around 
door cards up on the dash and on the sides of the seats. So it's a subtle accent piece, but I, I do really like the color combination in here with the light gray and the dark gray. The Onyx is one of three trim levels that has this front view monitor. So whenever you click that button there, it'll show a front view camera 180 degree angle that will allow you to see out in front of your car. So this is great for daily use in parking lots if you're trying to get out and you've got cars on this side and this side and you can't see as you're inching out into the aisleway. But also if you are taking this out on the trails, you'll be able to see out in front of you much easier. This is a standard on the Onyx, the Wilderness trim, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second, and then also the Touring trim. The Onyx has the rear vents and the rear USB ports, just like the premium trim, but it adds the heated seats for passengers back here in your second row. The Onyx Edition and the Wilderness, and I'm gonna talk about in just a moment, both have one optional package. So you can get a package 22, which includes the power moonroof, the navigation that's built into the 11.6 inch touchscreen display, and a feature called reverse automatic braking, which will automatically brake for you whenever objects are detected behind you. The next trim level that we're going to discuss is the all new Outback Wilderness Edition. So this one just came out in 2022. If you wanna see a more in-depth overview on this car, click on the YouTube card above, and that'll take you to a video that I did just on the wilderness going over all of the details. However, to give you a quick rundown on this car, it is a more rugged, off-road capable car. It has 9.5 inches of ground clearance versus the standard 8.7 inches of ground clearance that you see on all other Subaru Outbacks. It has a black appearance package, similar to that of the Onyx Edition, but it has 17 inch alloy wheels. It also has a full size spare, just like the Onyx Edition that does match the other four that are already mounted to the car. It has wilderness badges throughout the interior and the exterior of the car. And then it also has the same StarTex material upholstery inside the car for your seats, but the Wilderness has these dimples in the seats that help with grip. So they're similar in color, but different in styling. The interior and exterior have this orange anodized copper color for accent pieces around the car. So the roof rails do not have the integrated crossbars. You actually have to purchase the crossbar separate. And the reason for this is because the Wilderness is designed to be able to put a tent on top. So it has a 750 pound weight limit for static load. So therefore you have to get the Thule extended crossbars or something similar to that. And then lastly on the Wilderness, this comes standard with a 2.4 liter turbo engine, just like you see in the Onyx and the other XT options for the Outback. Here is the limited trim for the Outback. It has the same wheel design that you see on the Onyx, but instead of all black, you see this machine finish with black accent pieces around the edges. The limited has the 2.5 liter engine as a standard, but the option to get the limited XT, which will give you the turbo engine. And then on the inside, the limited comes standard with leather interior. You also have this seat cushion extension for the Limited. It has front heated seats for you, your passenger, and it has rear heated seats for the passengers in the second row. Not only do you have power adjustability seats for your driver's seat, but you also have power adjustable seats for the passenger seat as well. If you like upgraded sound quality for your audio, you'll be happy to know that the Limited comes standard with the Harman Kardon speaker system. When you put it into reverse on the Limited or the Touring, you'll see that the passenger side side mirror will tilt down to help you when backing up or parallel parking. You also have this memory seat option on the Limited and Touring as a standard. The Limited has one optional package. It's called a Package 34, which gives you the power moonroof, the heated steering wheel, which is located on the lower right-hand side of the steering wheel. It also gives you the TomTom -tom navigation up on the 11.6 inch display. And then lastly, it gives you a feature called driver focus, which is this infrared bar up here, which will detect distractive driving if you're looking away too long from the road ahead. The driver focus can also simultaneously be a convenience feature and sync up with your memory seating. So the way that this works is whenever you get in your car, that will scan your face and see who's sitting in the driver's seat and it'll actually move your seats 
and your meter position to the predetermined setting that you've already set. So it's a really neat feature. If you wanna check that out, step by step, I made a video on this. Just click on the YouTube card up to the top right and that'll show you how to set it up for your new Outback. So this package 34 that I just mentioned with all of its features actually comes standard on the XT models. So if you get a limited XT, it'll come standard with that. If you get a touring XT, it'll come standard with that. Also, if you get a touring trim with the 2.5 liter engine, it'll come standard with the options that are in that package 34. So the Touring trim is Subaru's highest trim level. It comes with absolutely every feature that I've talked about today with a few minor differences. From an aesthetic point of view, the Touring is just like the Limited in a lot of ways. It has the exact same 18 inch alloy wheels that you see on the Limited with the machine finish. But what the Touring does get is of course the badges on the back that show the Touring badge. And there are aluminum brush accent pieces around the car. So the mirror caps have aluminum brush, the roof rails have aluminum brush finish, and then the door handles are actually a chrome polish. Instead of the black leather interior that you see here in the Limited, the Touring comes standard with the Java Brown Napa leather interior. You can only get the brown leather interior on the Outback Touring trim. Speaking of the seats, not only do you get heated seats in the Touring, but you also get an exclusive ventilated cooling seat option for the Touring. And just like we discussed on the Onyx XT and the Wilderness trim, on the Touring trim, you get the front view monitor camera. So overall, my absolute favorite trim level for the Outback line is the Onyx Edition. I just love the look of the car. The black wheels, the black appearance package really sets the car off, makes it look really good, but also their performance. It's a really fun car to drive because of that 2.4 liter turbo. And if I were to own an Outback, that's probably the trim level that I would get. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to click the like button, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.